Hello, hello everyone and welcome. It's that time again for a final discussion about the spring 2022 anime season. This time around we're talking about Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. This was one of the romance anime from this season. And uh, it centers around Shikimori, the pink-haired gal here, and Izumi, who is the boyfriend in this scenario right there. Now, the dynamic is that Izumi is very, like, accident-prone, like a klutz, but, like, worse. Like, he's very unlucky, so things will, like, fly at his head or drop from the sky or he'll trip and fall a lot, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, whereas Shikimori... Uh, She's very athletic and skilled, and so she basically protects him from all this bad stuff that happens to him. Yeah, that's basically the premise, and it's just about them going about their school life while uh, being in love and having a great old grand time, right? Quite sweet, quite cute, and uh, yeah. But I gotta say, it really lacked like any sort of real, like, substance for me to, like, grab onto. Uh, it felt more like a slice of life for the most part, whereas, like, it just had a little bit of romance stuff sprinkled in, because they did a lot of stuff with, like, side characters as well. And there was development and stuff like that, um, and, you know, Shikimori's reactions when she was blushing and stuff was cute, and so were Izumi's, but it, it just lacked something for me to, like, latch on to and be like, that's great, I like it. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it just wasn't cute enough for my taste. And also, like, nothing really happens. It's literally just them having, like, a school life, you know, um, which is, you know, whatever, right? But it, unlike uh, some other romance where there's like drama involved which i hate by the way uh so i stay away from those but uh let, let's think of the uh dress up darling romance from uh last season there which was just excellent probably one of the best romances you can check out uh it's got not only like the two characters and falling in love and stuff but also like they do cosplays and learn more about each other and whatnot but with uh shikimori uh, it just lacked that because they're already a couple. So it 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 lacked that build up to them like getting to know each other where they were already a couple, uh, but they're still kind of awkward and whatnot. And don't get me wrong, this could be like done well, like uh, when the main characters are already a couple. I think there may have been an anime or so at some point. That has had that that I've enjoyed and watched. But this one, while it was good, I will say, um, it, it's something that I would probably not watch a second season of. Um, definitely something I would not rewatch. It just didn't, like, grip me and want me to, like, continue watching all the time for some reason. Um, yeah, toward the end, I kind of got tired of watching it, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. But all around, it's an okay show. Is it the best show? Would you, like, shelve some other shows to watch this show, like, immediately? No. No, don't. Just if, if you plan on watching this one, but you have other stuff you really, really want to watch, just add this one to your list and watch it whenever you get to it. You're not going to you know, be missing anything amazing or anything like that, right? It's just a, a romance show where uh, the girlfriend is not just cute, but she's also cool. And that's really all the show's about, is uh, <clears throat> Shikimori being cute, but also being cool when she helps Izumi or stands up for her friends and stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's really the name of the game. But it's really all I got to say about this one, folks. So check it out or don't. But uh, that's all from me. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.